I'm telling you, I'm not picking these stories intentionally. There just isn't any big juicy news out there. So you're just going to have to go with this tiny piece of juicy news, which is like a grape. A small juicy grape, but it'll be juicy, but it'll be leaving you with more juicy juiceness. Now, before we get into the juicy juice news, there was another story I almost covered. And if you're interested in keyboards like I am, then this may float your boat. So basically... Razer have produced a keyboard that is even smaller than before. It is 65% smaller than their previous keyboards. So basically they've shoved off all the crappy keys that you never use like page left and poo up and delete. Yeah, who uses that one? And all those, that big number pad thing because who does maths apart from accountants? And basically you're left with a very, very small matchbox size keyboard with glowy background and it's wireless and it looks very pretty. It is called the Black Widow V3 Pro. So yes, if you deem yourself pro, this may be the keyboard just for you. But I digress, this is not what I wanted to talk about, but I thought I'd let you know about it. But be warned, it may be 65% smaller, but it's about 75% more expensive. What do you mean, Dom? Well, it comes in around $179, which, I'm sorry, is just way too much for a keyboard. No, won't be buying that one. We'll be just looking and crying at my very fat, heavy Steel Series keyboard, which has... <laughs> it's not a dinky keyboard. It's a ginormous keyboard with hundreds of macro buttons that I thought would be useless. Well, useful, but never used. Additionally, this thing has a wrist pad the size of my forearm, so I'm looking for something smaller, but... Uh, <clears throat> anyway, let's talk about the news, because we have some juicy juice to talk about. So you know that team who produce ninja-based games, aptly named Team Ninja, who produce such beauties such as Neo, Neo 2, Ninja Gaiden, Ninja Gaiden 3, and other ninja-like games. Well, they have announced that they are producing... Guess what? Not another ninja game, but a Final Fantasy spin-off. And I'll tell you what, as soon as I heard this, my panties went into a giant twist of excitement because I absolutely love Final Fantasy. I love the remake. I cannot wait to get hold of the new exclusive on the PS5. When, of course, I buy a PS5, which may be never, but I will watch someone else play this. But I digress. Yes, this game called Final Fantasy Origin and if you're wondering what type of game this could be, well, they have uh, they have kinda confirmed this would be something similar to Neo. So if you had a mummy who was made of Dark Souls stuff and a daddy who was made of Final Fantasy stuff, you'd end up with a Final Fantasy Dark Souls child. And this is very, very exciting. Now, and I'm sure some of you are like, but dumb, there's so many Soulsborne types of games. And yes, that is very true. But I think, you know, it is an established genre now. And going to different worlds and looking at different styles of play is all very, very exciting. And I encourage it. And a great example of that, of which we covered the other day, was, of course, Lies of P, which is, you know, a Dark Soulsborne style kind of game, but with Pinocchio, you know, something that's never really been tapped into, but because of the genre and the background and the story that surrounds it, it's super cool and it's super exciting and it, you know, brings a new play style, a new kind of world thought process to something that's been done, but will, you know, still generates a lot of excitement. Now, I can give you some details other than my fangirlish exciting kind of style screams, and these are the following. So they're saying that it is more accessible than others in the genre, so it will mean that it's not as punishing and you know it's not gonna take like the hardcore kind of style of player to you get through it. And additionally, unlike Dark Soul games, this one will come with a difficulty setting. So that's pretty cool. I like the idea that, you know, if you're a hardcore Final Fantasy player, but you don't like getting your ass handed to you 20 times in a row, then you can dial back the settings and enjoy and appreciate the story behind it. So in terms of timescales, I don't actually know when the game is going to get released, but I can tell you when you're going to get more information, and we're probably going to cover it then. 
and that's around the E3 showing. So that's the rumours at the moment. Final Fantasy Origin, all very, very exciting, and I can't wait to watch more and then tell you more and give you my thoughts and feelings on it. Now, when I first heard about this news, I was a bit like, hmm, Team Ninja and Final Fantasy, but apparently this isn't a new thing, because apparently they made uh, Dissidia Final Fantasy, which admittedly I never played, um, and also they did another one, which was a sequel called Dissidia Final Fantasy Opera Omnia. Omnia? Omnia, that's the word I think it is, but anyway, they co-developed that as well. I haven't played this. Apparently they had a very different style of combat involving three players. If you did play it, maybe tell me in the uh, comments below because I would be really interested to know more about this. But yes, there we have it. Today's news is all about Final Fantasy. So yeah, really interesting to see how they can implement this, you know, with lots of summons, you know, the idea that you're holding one character instead of multiple characters. All really, really cool. Absolutely excited for this. Love it. We'll be hanging on bated breath for E3. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, as usually, hit that thumbs up button. If you want more, hit the subscribe button. But more importantly, please remain safe. Go get your COVID jabs and have a great week. And I'll be back tomorrow with more fantastic news. Don't forget that we do two shows weekly reviewing all the greatest gameplay trailers. That's on a Wednesday at... 8 p.m. No, 11 p.m. GMT and on Friday at 11 p.m. GMT. Love you all. See you soon. Signing off. Final Fantasy. I love you.